Hi guys, this is Donna with Love Rocks, and this week we're back with another 4th of July video. Before we start, I want to remind you that if you will take the moment to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment underneath the video, you'll be in the free drawing for this rock. We'll draw for this rock in about a week to 10 days. I will post the winner, and as soon as I get an address from that person, we'll get it sent out. I do want to tell everybody who has subscribed and has followed my channel for um, almost two years now, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, we've been able to do a lot of rocks because of the support that we get from this channel. So let's get started. This rock was a little bit dark for me and it was very porous, so I decided to put a, a light color underneath it. I didn't want anything to... Um, to kind of compete with the red, white, and blue. So I went with a, a light tan color. You can go with a regular rock and not put any background on it, or you can go ahead and put some sort of a, um, a background if you like. So I've done this little simple butterfly before. Um, there is a video on doing it. So if you're having trouble seeing this one uh, on the darker colors once we get the red white and blue in there please go back and look at one of my old videos it is in the fourth of july uh, playlist when you go to my channel so i just went ahead and used ink spot blue you know that that's one of my favorite blues and we're going to do that top left uh, wing with that and then we're going to do white and i used wicker white on this one um, to do the other three wings. Because we're going to do um, red and white stripes, red and white, it's much easier just to paint the whole thing white and then put your red stripes in over the top of it. This is such a fast rock. I think this video comes out to be like less than 10 minutes. Uh, the full rock probably took me half an hour to do, but I did several of them for hiding rocks. They're the perfect hiding rock. Um, they're quick, they're really pretty. They stand out when you get ready to hide them. They stand out so well um, in parks, grass, uh, on, on uh, picnic tables, anything like that. They really stand out and uh, people really enjoy them. So um, I did several after this one um, at one time. And when I do my hiding rocks, I like to do that. I like to sit down and do four or five of the same rock uh, because I can do them in shifts. I can do all the white, all the red, all the blue at the same time. And in between, um, the rocks that I'm not working on are dry, drying as I'm putting the next step on. Uh, with this rock, you'll notice that we did do that background. That needs at least 30 minutes to dry before you start putting the colors on for the butterfly. Then we put the blue and white on. That layer needs to dry for 30 minutes before you put the next layer on. So um, if you don't do that, the white is gonna run in the blue and the red's going to run in the white so you have to be kind of careful because we've already got several layers of paint on this rock but if you can give it about 30 minutes especially right now in the summertime if you can give it 30 minutes to dry between layers you should be set um we have had quite a bit of rain uh here in new mexico in the last couple of days so 30 minutes when it's dry, when it's wet like it is right now, um, sometimes I have to give it a little extra time. Now we're going to use black to fill in all of the areas. So because of that, you don't have to be really, really careful with the edges here because you're going to re-edge that with a black line. You know, just try to stay kind of within the lines here. Again, here we are. You're gonna need 30 minutes to dry before you start putting this black on or things are gonna to start to smear. So now you're gonna do your, um, your butterfly with a, a simple cross right there in the middle. And then you'll outline all four um, of the, uh, the wings of the butterfly. And then you're gonna put those two little I guess you could call them, they're kind of like little veins right there in that 
inside each one of those wings. Once you put those in, you're gonna take and make a rounded line and put them together. So, if you've done a butterfly like this before, very, very easy. But if you haven't, and you're trying to see it on this particular rock and you're having trouble, I really suggest that you go to my playlist and uh, look at the rock that I did um, before. And it is in the 4th of July playlist when you pull up my channel, which I think right now is the first playlist that you come to. And if you go into that butterfly, um, the first rock that you're going to find in that butterfly video is going to be a, this butterfly. And it's on a really, really, really light color. So you'll be able to see exactly how you line that um, those wings. Otherwise, if you've done it before, this is not going to be difficult at all. I'll tell you what, when you get done, it really makes a pretty rock for 4th of July. I hope everybody is, um, at this point, is getting ready for the 4th and getting your rocks ready, especially if you're traveling. Uh, taking rocks out and setting them in different places is one of the, my favorite things to do. Um, my husband travels a lot for work. I will send them with him. He'll drop them off when he crosses different states. If I've got family members that I see, I will send them with them. I have a friend down the street. I'll send them with her and her kids if they're traveling. That way people can get them anywhere that, that you know my friends and family goes. Now I just put in a small little, like a, a body, and then some, um, just some little wisps up there to, to look like um, your butterfly is, is coming alive. This isn't the kind of butterfly that um, is standing on something. It's not uh, standing up off of the rock. If you want to go back in, I know a lot of people like to put shadows in. You can put the shadows in. Um, you can add a lot to this. Uh, this wasn't specifically what I was aiming for. I just wanted something that would make a fun, really pretty hiding rock. But you can add a lot to this. And those antennas are really as simple as just two little wisps. And there you have it. Now you're gonna seal that before you send it off. You can write something on it if you'd like. Happy 4th of July, you know, let freedom rings, God bless, anything like that. Or you can just leave it by itself. Guys, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I hope you enjoy this. Have a safe 4th of July, and I'll see you back here in a week.